Hey guys, welcome. My name is Latifa, also known as Let's Create. And a lot of you may know me for my more creative side, which involves a lot of crochet, macrame, painting, all things artsy. But there's also another side of me which involves being a physiotherapist. I've been a physio for over half a decade now and it's been quite a journey. And I want to share that side of me with you guys. A lot of people don't know what physiotherapists do and some assume that all we do is massage which is barely eat. it barely even scratches the surface of what physiotherapists do so first of all physios are healthcare professionals so we help to restore maintain and enhance a patient's function mobility and quality of life and we do that by assessing diagnosing and treating various injuries and health conditions it's kind of similar to how a doctor would, but with doctors, they would prescribe medication or may recommend surgeries for these conditions. But physiotherapists, we prescribe exercises just to help to strengthen, increase mobility and function of these patients, as well as we do hands-on techniques, which some of massage comes into play, but we also do some joint manipulations, soft tissue mobilizations, just to improve circulation, reduce pain, and just to help with overall well-being. And a lot of research has shown, so you can do your own research if you don't believe me, but physiotherapy has shown a lot of positive outcomes, whereas it helps to improve overall function. Of patients and it is a cheaper alternative to surgery and medication and it has been proven to be efficient with conditions like lower back pain, degenerative disc disease, arthritis, meniscal tears, just the name of that. But we do cover a lot, we do treat a lot of different types of conditions. But I can talk about that more in another video. So Another aspect of physio involves educating patients. So we educate them about their condition and we also teach them preventative methods to prevent further injury. And, and a lot of injury can be prevented. You know, Jamie can say prevention better than cure and it is so true. All it takes are some simple lifestyle changes and it can cause such a positive impact on your overall well-being and they say doctors aren't good patients or they don't make good patients and the same goes to physios so sometimes we don't practice what we preach and that is why i'm creating this whole movement called let's create wellness which is not only to help to inspire and educate persons about how they can improve their overall well-being it's also to invite you as i continue along this wellness journey so i'm helping you and i'm also helping myself and i want you to invite others to join in and be a part of the whole wellness movement all right so kicking things off i'm starting with a no sugar challenge and it will run from february 18th to march 29th so after, after valentine's so if you want to enjoy all those sweets of love day go ahead and indulge but Come February 18th, we're taking things a bit more seriously, right? Disclaimer, 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 disclaimer. Right. So this is a whole 40-day challenge, and the reason for this is because we as a people, including myself, we love sugar so much, we love it too much. Uh, it is a uh, underrated and it's not talked about enough of how addicted we are. Every minute, you know, if you feel something sweet, if you feel something nice, it's an addiction and I'm trying to beat it. Also, excessive sugar creates a oh, domino effect. So when you take in a lot of sugar, this increases the body's blood glucose level, your blood sugar level rises and it triggers the body to release insulin. And you know, let's think of insulin as a form of key. So it allows the cells to open and take in some of this sugar, which is then used to great energy. If the blood sugar level is constantly high, it's like you're using the key too much. You use it so much that it spoils, the lock spoils, and 
the cells can no longer take up sugar efficiently and that's what creates insulin resistance so the body no longer responds to insulin as how it would and this causes an even more increase of the blood sugar levels right so the body takes this as a threat and it sends out what them which is <laughs> the white blood cells and this causes inflammation so body's natural way of defending itself which is good but when it becomes an issue is when it becomes more chronic more long term so the body is constantly defending itself for months days just going on and on and on per persistent inflammation has been linked to a number of diseases like diabetes hypertension heart failure some cancers arthritis it's just to name a few so these are what we classify as non-communicable diseases which is as a result of prolonged inflammation these diseases cannot be passed from one person to the other All right these are the diseases that are running rampant in our society and it is leading to even further complications I worked at the amputation prevention clinic and I've seen firsthand how these diseases have affected persons that have led to loss of limbs. And if you don't know, Jamaica is even considered as the amputation capital. As I said, a lot of this can be avoided just by making one simple change, being more mindful of the amount of sugar that you intake. So, the no sugar challenge, the rules are no juice, no sweeteners, artificial or natural, no liquor, and no will over alcohol, but let's take a little break, and no desserts can be chocolate, but you can eat fruits and carbohydrates with a natural occurring sugar. And another rule is to take a full body picture on the first and last day of the challenge just to see your progress. And Guys, let's do this, right? If it is hard for you to do all of these, choose even one. Just drink water with all your meals, right? And see how it goes. I promise you, you will see a difference. And if it is hard, the challenge is 40 days. But if it is hard for you to make it to 40 days, even if you make it to 21 days, that's great. If you make it to a week, that's amazing. Like, if it is even two days, just show up for yourself and try. And if you yield into temptation, come back on the ride, come back on the journey. Don't stay there, all right? So let's create wellness 2024.